Welcome to Straight Line MTB, and we are excited because once again, it is new bike day, and we are ready to rip this baby open like it's Christmas morning and show you what we got. So let's rip this box open and see what's inside. It is not a giant, that's for sure. Boom, the Ibis Ripley AF. Super, super lucky and thankful to be able to snag one of these bikes. Huge, huge shout out to Tony at Alpine Bike Works in Killington, Vermont. He is always a go-to for Ibis for me. They always have bikes in stock. When bikes are sold out like our Ripmo AF, we would called up Tony and say, hey, what do you got? He's I got one in stock. So if for all your IBIS needs, hard to find IBIS bikes and Yeti, hit them up, alpinebikeworks.com and tell them Straight Line MTB sent you. So this is our size large. It's the Pond Scum Green color in the N slash GX build. So just looking at the new AF, it's a kind of a tradition, a second generation tradition for IBIS where, you know, they're known for their carbon boutique bikes. Um, they did something where they had the Ritmo and then they came out with the Ritmo AF and they are continuing that tradition with the Ripley AF. So what they did is they built upon a really amazing trail bike with the Ripley V4. They've taken it and made it at a lower price point in aluminum frame. So what do you get for $3,299 for our N slash GX build? So for the most part on our build spec, it says that it comes with an NX shifter, but our model came with a GX shifter. We have the GX rear derailleur, the GX 10 to 52 cassette. So you get that huge, nice, huge range. It comes with the NX cranks with the steel chain ring. For the suspension package, you get the Fox 34 performance. So it's with that grip damper. So you get the low speed compression and rebound adjustment. The rear shock is an also performance uh, level suspension. It is the Fox DPS float performance. So you get the three position. And for wheels, you get something that I really liked on the Ritmo AF is you get the Ibis S35 rim. So it's a 35 millimeter internal width with the Ibis hubs. Those are really great rims and uh, hubs that I rode on the Ritmo AF. I really appreciated and enjoyed them. Uh, it's the first time I had something so wide, so it's really sh kind of shocking, but awesome that they put that 35 millimeter interna width rim on a bike that's, you know, maybe a lighter duty. This model came with the Asagai front and rear tires. They're both 3C XO Plus Max Terra tires. Uh, First initial thought of it is I think that might be a bit of overkill for this bike. I'm worried it's going to take away of some of the character that this bike might have being kind of a light, maybe a trail bike with some great climbing. I'm going to ride it with those tires and see how it performs, but I'm thinking something a little bit lighter, uh, lighter weight, maybe a little bit less heavy duty, something like maybe a DHF in the front and maybe an a dissector or an aggressor in the rear. And then let's talk about the cockpit. So 
Uh, for the handlebars that comes with the Ibis aluminum handlebar, um, they look really nice. It's a 31.8, which I really am a fan of the smaller diameter just for the comfort level. So I'm very excited about that. And then it comes with the Ibis brand stem. For the dropper post, you get a KSI Rage. This is another item that I like. It's on the lower end of KS's range, but like on a Ritmo AF, I really liked it. It performed really well. Um, the, it's got the Southpaw lever for the dropper post lever. It comes with the Lizard Skins, Ibis branded grips. They're on the thinner side. Um, if you know me, I like a little bit something chunky, a little bit something thicker to grab onto, but we'll ride with them and see how we like them. And for brakes, it comes with the SRAM G2R. So it is the entry level G2 brake. Uh, riding these on our spur, I didn't have a huge issue with them. They do lack a little bit of power of the Maguros that I'm used to, but I think for this bike and the, the intention of this bike, they should serve pretty well. So for weight, of course, everybody wants to know weight. I'm a big, how much does it weigh, guys? So our size large, as you see it, just out of the box, I do believe there's tubes inside of here. No pedals. This size large comes in at 31.75 pounds. Pedals are probably gonna add another pound, so I'm guessing that this bike ready to ride will be about the 32 and a half pound range, but stay tuned on our first ride review. We'll give you all the information and the exact weight ready to ride. So how does it look in person? Similar to the Ritmo AF, I felt like when I saw it in the pictures, I was like, eh, it looks okay. But when it showed up, beautiful. Same thing with the Ripley AF. I think the pictures online don't do it justice. Pulling out of the box, looking at it, just looks really nice. I really, really like this color, the pond scum green, the accents on the top tube and down here on the chain stays, the back of the seat tube, it's a uh, like a neon yellow, so it kind of breaks it up a little bit. It's a really good looking frame, and I do appreciate and really like uh, the, the gloss finish on the bikes. The last few bikes we've had been a matte finish, I'm a I'm an auto detail guy, as you can see of our 64 here, as I like something with a little bit of pop. So I do, do really, really, really like this shiny green pawn scum. And it looks, it looks more green. It doesn't look too scummy. All right, so stay tuned, guys. We were gonna bring you a first ride review and a long-term review in the future. As you know, if you follow our channel, you know that we have the YT Izzo Pro Race and the Transition Spur right now sitting right here watching us do this review, feeling a little bit jealous. So let us know in the comments below if this is a roundup that you guys would like to see, Ibis versus YT versus Transition, and we will be happy to bring that video to you. I am going to go and put our Laminex frame protection tape on this bike to protect the down tube and other bits to keep it nice and minty fresh so if you guys want to get 20 percent off some awesome frame protection check the link below follow it and it also helps us on our channel as we get a little bit of kickback this bike does not come with down tube protection similar to our ritmo af so i have bought lizard skins it is the adhesive protection it's called the leather Carbon leather, I'm gonna put it on the down tube to protect that down tube. And last but certainly not least, my new favorite accessory for bikes is Tannis tubeless armor. I'm gonna throw one of these uh, inserts in the rear, protect that rear rim because you know, we have a bad luck denting rim. So we're gonna throw that in there. So thank you, thank you very much. Again, if you guys have any questions or any comments or things you want us to look for on the first ride review, comment below and we will do our best to keep up with that. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at straightline underscore MTB and straightlinemtb.com. Again, thank you very much for joining us and stay tuned because we are going to do a first ride review and we have the Izzo and the Transition Sentinel eyeing us right now and Maybe we'll do a little roundup to see who's the best in the business. See you on the next video.